Roughly 50 million people in the United States suffer from some sort of rheumatic condition. We are here at Metro Health, University of Michigan Health, with rheumatologist Dr. James Birmingham. Exactly what is a rheumatic condition? So a rheumatic condition is a disease of the immune system or an inflammatory system. Normally it's designed to help protect your body from things like infections or injury, but in rheumatic disease the inflammation creates damage or disease. And what exactly creates that? Why does a person, person develop that? Typically it's a combination of factors that leads to autoimmunity. It's oftentimes associated with an innate immune deficiency of some sort or some other genetic predisposition followed by an injury, an illness, or some other trigger that sort of contributes to an inflammatory response that does not shut down. Okay, so are we talking arthritis? What kinds of conditions are we talking about? So things like psoriatic arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, ankylosing spondylitis, lupus, other autoimmune diseases that we will see as a response to abnormal inflammation. And so is this something that children would suffer from as well as adults? Indeed, we have children as young as nine months who've been diagnosed with arthritis condition and some in, uh, patients into their 90s as well. And what about treatment options? So generally we try to focus on reducing the level of inflammation in the body. This is usually done through anti-inflammatory therapies or immune suppressive agents. And so how would a person know if they needed to seek the treatment of a specialist? Um, usually we ask people to be seen after they've had persistent unexplained symptoms for anywhere from six weeks to three months. If there's unexplained uh, fever, fatigue, or pain, then typically it would be worth having an evaluation by a primary care physician. Thank you so much. We're here at Metro Health, University of Michigan Health.